platform that we created to um, serve customers from being simple mobile network largely on voice uh, has changed dramatically over the last 20 years and with that change we have seen how it has become complex in terms of a service offering at the customer and it, it looks quite simpler but at the back end to provide all that uh, there's a lot of work that all of you do to keep our services running 24-7 because from a simple circuit switch voice service that we started in 1995, we have added a lot more capability, convenience to our customers. And, and that though the, the greatest innovation is to provide that experience in a simpler manner. And in order to provide that simplicity, we have a lot of technologies, a lot of platforms, and all of you 24-7 provide that ex superior world-class experience so that the customer can enjoy a telecommunication service, Codplay connectivity service, which is no better than anywhere in the world. And I think all of you have worked very hard, especially our partners and the team involved, to get this world-class facility today. And this, this has been a near 10-month journey in terms of building this, but there has been a lot of good planning that has gone through so that this facility is ready to serve the next 10 years of Dialogue's journey. In, when we built that first facility, NOC, it served us, it kept us good for the last 13 years and now we believe that this facility again would help us to further our journey connectivity journey into the next 10 years and the next 10 years is going to be really challenging with 5G around the corner and a lot more complexity in terms of networks that we will have to deliver but at the customer end the 
keys to keep it simpler. Customer getting world class wireless connectivity. I think fiber like speeds on wireless, or we call it wireless fiber. And that's, that's the change that we will see. And in order to deliver all this, we will look up to the team, this facility, to make sure that the experience remains seamless. We have to figure out a customer is experiencing network issues before he really sees that he's having issues. And that's the next generation network operations that we have to deliver. And I'm sure this facility, with the great team that we have, We'll deliver that. Incidentally, today, 31st October 2018, I complete 22 years at Dialog. So I remember walking into Dialog 1st November 1996, and Upali took me to a small room with asbestos sheet and some 200 square feet of space, or even can be lesser, with set of uh, uh, Spark Sun servers big screens and you know, dot matrix printers making eternal noise uh, printing the alarms. He took me there and said, this is all yours from today, this is all yours. So that was a challenge given to me. And um, so the journey that we started from there, it was such a humble beginning. I remember Lalit was seated with a uh, 386 PC with a 250 megabytes hard disk. It's not RAM, ROM, it was a 250 megabyte hard disk. So that was the beginning. And the journey we started there with less than 1,000 customers and perhaps 18 base stations has come to this uh, level today. So we f feel really proud about it. And looking back, all the challenges that we have faced and where we are today, uh, feel really uh, proud about it. Uh, we should thank the network operation team. I think it's a very, very much thankless job. It's a very hard job. Imagine like we awake every night, 12 hours, looking at the screens. When, when all the others are sleeping, these guys are uh, looking after the network. So, and also nobody sees it or nobody feels it. I, we, I myself know when you have to do night work, you know how difficult it is. Even the next day, it's very difficult to even wake up. But these guys, it's, it's their life. They come day in, day out. They do that even when there's a convention, they, they, even there's a company gathering or, no con, or a convention, they don't get a chance to attend because they are looking after the network. So they are the eye of the network. So we should appreciate them. Many things have changed. If you go back 20, four years when we, I think, first started this network in uh, 1995, uh, or the operation started in 1995, but building the network started in 1994. So coming up to quarter century of uh, high-class engineering, starting with just 16 base stations uh, in and around Colombo, now well into over 3,000, moving from just a GSM network into multiple technologies. A lot has changed. And uh, while the technology has changed, while what we deliver to our customers has evolved, uh, there, has been, there have been many constants, but I think one very unique constant has been the commitment and dedication of our network operations team. The very fact that management doesn't keep an eye on you is because management is supremely confident that night or day, however bad the weather is, whatever the challenges are, that you are delivering to your commitment. And I think that is a recognition and honor which has been bestowed upon you and is something that nobody can take away. You might feel it's not recognized, not celebrated every day. It's the very fact that everyone around you has supreme confidence in what you deliver day in and day out. So in this new home, I wish you all the very best. And I uh, would like to thank the entire leadership, starting with uh, Upali, who was heading operations uh, many, many years ago, and then Pradeep, uh, the entire 
uh, second line, and all the way to every single officer who keeps our network running day in and day out. Uh, thank you very much and all the very best.